Good morning everybody and welcome to today's assembly on family time. Family time is extremely important to me. It's probably the time when I'm most relaxed and most comfortable. It's an opportunity to create great memories with those that you're closest to. Enjoy the assembly and I look forward to seeing you soon. Good morning Year 8 and welcome to your second virtual assembly. This assembly, the topic is about family time. Just before we close up lockdown, I spoke to you all about teamwork and how this makes us stronger as a collective. It is the same working in your families. With every successful team or family, every member of the unit has to be making a positive contribution and this includes you. Being helpful around the house is a great start to being a good team family member, such as you could be making a brew, help prepare dinner, tidying your bedroom, doing the dishes or helping out with the laundry, just to name a few examples. Especially if your parents or carers are key workers or working from home. What we don't want to see is you behaving like our friend Kevin in the next clip. Yes, in five minutes. Remember, you've still got school tomorrow. Oh, yeah. De Brian. Yeah, I'm 13. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Kevin. Kevin. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Dick. Go. Go. Kevin. Go. Are you all right? I am all right. Darling. He's losing the power of rational thought. With the use of his arms. He's, He's become, become a teenager. <laughs> Kevin! What? It's your birthday, Kevin. Oh, I know! Happy birthday, Kevin. OK, stop going on about it, will you? <laughs> the message there is don't be a Kevin. Last week we have been speaking to your parents and carers and it's been great listening to all the fantastic things that you've been getting up to. The following slides will give you some ideas of new skills or new ideas of things that you can get involved in over the coming weeks. Enjoy the rest of the assembly. Bye for now. Good morning Year 8, Miss Smith here. Um, something that I quickly realised was quite important when, when lockdown began was making sure that me and my family kept to some sort of routine. Um, there is lots of benefits from keeping a routine and that's what I'm going to go through in this video today. So at the moment there's a lot of things that aren't in our control such as lockdown and when we can all return back to school. Um, but one thing that we do have control of is our routine um, and by doing that it helps us reduce our stress levels. It also helps us prioritise our time and make sure that the things that need to be done is done and therefore that makes, sure, that makes us have a lot more free time at the end of the day. Um, so typically for me and my family um, it was quite difficult to get into a routine at first uh, but eventually we, we, do, we do have a, a routine um, and it's quite simple so we try to get up at the same day at the same time every day um, and then the first thing we do is we eat our breakfast. 
um, after that then we make sure that we get our work done so obviously I'm still working at home I still have emails to answer um, and things to do on Instagram and, and Twitter um, so I make sure that I do that first thing in the morning and then whilst I'm doing my work, I make sure that my little boy fits in some of his schoolwork. So we d we usually just try and stick to a, a subject a day because it can get a, a very too much for him. So once once work is finished, um, that's time for lunch. Um, so we'll have a nice dinner um, and we'll all eat our lunch together. And then after that, um, it's exercise time or free time. So. That's usually when we fit in our daily exercise, which I said in the previous assembly is usually in the way of a daily walk. Um, but when things, when the weather's not nice, um, we'll do something indoors. Um, so I'm lucky that my partner is a personal trainer, so we do our exercise indoors, and he'll do some some exercises that me and my son can follow, uh, which is usually quite fun um, and enjoyable, and it's also a way of getting our exercise done. So then we make sure we try and have our tea at the same time. Um, again, we all sit down as a family and then after that we usually just stick a, a, a DVD on and just have some nice family time in the evening. Um, and then we make sure we try and stick to a regular bedtime um, and then that, that's pretty much it for our day. Um, and then that's repeated. Um, but it helps us keep, it helps us feel a lot more in control. Um, it's a lot less stressful knowing that what, what we've got to be doing for the day and what needs to be done and it, again it makes sure that we get the most important things that need to be done out of the way um, at the start of the day so we can sit back and just enjoy the rest of our time together the rest of the day. Good morning Yuri, having good quality downtime with your family is a very important aspect of your life right now. This is something I've personally enjoyed getting to spend extra time with my partner and kids. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you are having fun together and enjoying yourselves. Some of the activities I have enjoyed doing with my family have included playing different sports in the garden, going for family walks, cycling, playing board games and doing arts and craft. Again, it doesn't matter what you do, as long as you are all involved together, as there is no better time than the present to spend time together as a family. Hey, it's Miss McDonough here. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Um, I have really, really missed you. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the not-so-distant future. I hope you're taking this opportunity to create memories uh, with your friends and family. They say that friend, family and friendships are two of the most greatest facilitators of happiness. Family time for you, um, maybe cooking together, reading together, uh, fixing things together. Um, doing your daily exercise together, um, it will be different. Um, it will be different to each of you. Um, if you haven't already started making the most of uh, the time that we do have available, all I would ask is if you please, please, please just spend a little bit less time um, on your computers, um, on your phones, on social media, and just try and um, strengthen and build your relationships uh, with your with your friends and family.